Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Message of Hope. We're taking a look at some key passages from John chapter 14 and 15. In particular, John chapter 15, verses 1 and 2, where Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches, and my heavenly Father is the gardener. I don't know if this is true or not, but I, I, I think I've heard that the one plant that grows more places in the world than anywhere else, than any other plant rather, are vines that produce grapes. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems valid enough. So when Jesus talks about he is the vine and we are the branches, there's some very specific and poignant illustrations that Jesus makes for us as to how our faith can be impacted by staying connected to him. If you look at a vine branch that is not producing grapes, there are several reasons that I came up with as to why the vine is not producing grapes. There is lack of proper nourishment, there's disease, there are immature branches, there is improper pruning, there is no gardener, and separated from the vine. So if you just consider those six reasons, lack of proper nourishment, so the vine isn't being nourished with nutrients from the soil and isn't being watered. Disease, there are insects and diseases that are traveling from infected pieces of the vine to newer portions of the vine. There are immature branches that the branches haven't, uh, aren't old enough to be able to produce grapes. There's improper pruning. So the, the, the vine has been pruned incorrectly, thus prohibiting grapes from being produced. There's no gardener. There's not a person who is consciously watching over that vine in order to have it produce good grapes. And last of all, it's separated from the vine. So if you take a look at those six truths, could be more, this is what I came up with, Though there's a, a very profound spiritual truth from all of these lack of proper nourishment. Christ's love and Christ's love, if it's not flowing through us, it's not guiding us and it's not motivating us. We're not allowing that vital source of God's free and unconditional love for us through his act to properly impact us. Disease. Sometimes disease comes in our lives through unresolved past issues, unresolved sin, unresolved pain, unresolved bitterness, unresolved anger that we're just harboring onto in our lives. To produce grapes of faith, Christ encourages us to get rid of that. Immature branches. We need to grow in our faith life to produce a life evidenced by our actions. It takes time of growth. It doesn't just happen overnight. It takes persistence and diligence, and it takes spiritual discipline. Improper pruning. A pruning for a vine, if a vine could talk, uh, the vine would probably say it's not the, the most particular enjoyable aspect. So pruning comes in our lives through trials and sufferings. It's just a fact of life. Pruning comes because of trials and sufferings. And sometimes those sufferings come just because we live in a sin-filled world. And sometimes those suffering comes because of choices that we have made. We need to recognize when we have made poor choices, we need to see them for what they are and strive 
to correct them. There's no gardener. Sometimes we can be resistant to God's guidance. We can be resistant to God's power. We can be resistant to the Spirit's promptings of us in our lives. And last of all, separated from the vine. A vine that is cut off from the rest of the branches isn't going to do anything. So when we are disconnected from others, when we are disconnected from Jesus Christ, ultimately that shows itself with a lack of fruit in our lives. So this next week, go out and get some grapes, eat a few, and be reminded of how you are a vine that is grafted into the beautiful truth of what God has made you in him, a precious branch connected to the vine of Jesus Christ. Have a great week.